Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Dean. If you're new here, hi, how are you? I hope you guys are having a beautiful, beautiful day. This is me, co star. Anyways, today we getting into the boondocks of once again, season two, mm. episode five. By far, I know the season is a little bit longer than season one, but I'm loving this season. Like, it, it's cracking. It's cracking my brain, is what it is. The story of Thugnificent begins here, in the projects of Terra Bell, Georgia. But in Georgia, Terra Bell means f***ed up place to live. I seen everything, man, everything. Shot the dude, stomped the again, and then I seen him take a dump on the dude. What did he do to make this that mad? What is he gonna say? It's the fact that he didn't say like, oh dang, like that's messed up, it happened. What did he do to make them that mad? Well, that, that too, you're like, gonna think. Like, what did he do to make them do that? I wonder. I mean, I think I know, but I'm not gonna say it. Yeah, they must not have liked that location much because uh, they up and left. That's when they put this big ass fence up around the city. <laughs> a lot of people don't know that places like this even exist in America. You know what I'm talking about? You got parents who gotta choose between food and clothes for their kids, shorty. Who not sure they be having a lot of meat just swinging all through the camera? They need to put a disclosure in the beginning of it. Like, y'all just be having like cartoon meat just everywhere. Like, could we get a disclosure on that? I've never seen a cartoon like that. They always got meat just everywhere. What's everywhere? I'm saying like it's literally like we done seen too many to count. I can't believe it. This is so exciting. That's not true. Like the greatest what in the neighbors? hell? What's going on? What's going on? He's coming, you guys. Everybody get ready. Oh my gosh. Wait, I know that song. Magnificent. I don't know what this is giving. What movie is this giving? Come on, don't let me down. <clears throat> Where they come in the neighborhood exactly like this, and the people, the white people are just standing oh, outside. You told me I forgot what it's called. The basketball one. Yeah, the cookout. Yeah, that one. Yeah. This reminds me of the cookout. A yeah, little bit more ghetto than the cookout. Oh, cool. Magnificent! I can't believe it. Yeah. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 I wanna go over there, but I don't wanna get dry. You know. Ooh. It's hood in the wood, white folks. I just want to say we happy to be out here. Oh, uh, come on, granddad. Oh, no. be right there. I don't want to dick ride, so I'm going to just uh, go back to, to the house. You know how we do. We bring the hood with us right here, right across the street. Right, on this club. Uh, next door is going to be my detail shop. My granddad really out here tripping like that. Like, granddad, come on, bro. Like, why you out here hating? He took that 20, though. I would have got the 20. Like, what you talking about? Granddad out here hating on the step on it like Riley doing something wrong. The ghetto was here, y'all. Granddad said he left the Ain't this you, a... you got some words of welcome for all this thug -nificence. Come on over here. Happy headed hoes. He gonna be over there. Granddad gonna be oh, over yeah? there. Oh, yeah? Respect it, man. <laughs> Breathe it in. I think it's pretty cool, I guess. Having a big celebrity move in. They have the CD discats and the video games and the dungarees. With... Pay too much money for my house. Funny ass music. Yeah. She tasted success early with the Smash Club anthem, yeah, Booty like Butt Cheeks. Cheeks. The way I'm looking at it, I'm picking up with Malcolm X left off, nigga. It's don't grow up and basically act like a fool all the time. He added to it. It's like somebody threw a million dollars into the monkey cage at the zoo. We have kids. I ain't gonna stand for it. We so they finally on... I can't even think of... Wreck your side. It takes uh, somebody black. For now, and, though. For now. For now. It takes somebody bring a little ghetto to the neighborhood for them to stand with ruckus. I mean, I feel like <laughs> I feel like Huey and Riley had a little ghetto in them. They so they kind of brought it already. It's just ruckus. brought out. This all now. ruckus needed. This is all ruckus needed. Man, he, this all what he live off of. Why don't you just invite them over for dinner and get to know one another? Oh, yeah. What the chicken wings and the donuts What the f you got like, eating this bitch, nigga? Me a house oh man! Oh, oh no! Mm. Ooh. Here we are. Hey, so homie. Thanks, man. Hey, my name is Riley, and I live across the street. He a hater. Look, I don't want to be dick riding or nothing. You know, I'm holding it down for all the young G's. So, you know, I will let your man. If you oh man, respect, little partner. Hey, this little. Really? So then I say to R. Kelly, did you wash your hands? Yo, nigga, your brother told us how you be all in the reading and shit. Did you just...
congratulate me for reading? <laughs> oh, yeah. Especially when them books be, you know what I mean? You know, real thick and heavy, like, you know what I mean? Thick it's so heavy. crazy because I just real watched a video. thick and heavy. <laughs> I just watched a video of people talking like this, like in real life. Like They say it over and over and over. Like, come on, bro. It's their like for girls. Like, like, like. It's you know that, what I'm saying? Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. We got PlayStation and Xbox. Like, and we got Incredible Hulk. Get your drunk ass out of here. Damn. Mm -hmm. 911 <laughs> emergency. I hope. Ugh. People are walking around where they don't want them to be. Uh oh. You found a complaint against me, old man? You bat beep, nigga. Punk ass. Oh, Jerry Tony. Nigga. Nipsis is rash to story took an unexpected turn recently and it hurt more than anything you know to be stabbed in the back by your own people i feel sorry for them no because they must have forgot where they came from and you hey put that camera back over here i ain't finished my damn line all right let's get into some brand new the club B banger f grand and it's got my main man nate doggity dog on the hook the that your ass is old oh motherfucker. He picked up the phone Granddad out here got diss tracks on him. Dang, Granddad. They look key going in though. Is Riley gonna be bumping this though? That's he the is. question. He is. He is. <laughs> is Riley gonna be playing this track? Like, he is. I, <laughs> Somebody need to ask these stitches. Why they talking to police? Okay. Ah. Grandpa, old nigga, uh -huh. money, so money, money, money. This is the type of heat. That when they start oh, playing it, man. oh folks, it oh. don't cost a dime. Somebody yeah. toss my nine. I'm about to Whose voice was that? So Snoop, Nate Dogg, the last voice. What's that? That wasn't Buster. What? Why does the song look he smacked though? It like, do. That's like what I'm the saying. lyrics is kind of like it's talking about what he doing, and he said what he said, and he doing, he standing beside it. That about me? Man, tell me you didn't think that was hot. You need to stop with the hate crimes, Granddad. That hate wasn't even me. Damn, they can make all the silly little videos they want. I always knew you was a hater, but I never, never thought you'd be famous for it. Goodbye, Clark Nevisant. <laughs> That's his lawyer. Tom, filed the complaint with me. Yeah, I then I thought about it, and uh, I just went over there. But Tom, I thought we were in this together. Uh, yeah. <coughs> Hello? <coughs> Yo, this ex, who's this? You talking about the granddad from the Thug Nipperson song? Oh, how I go, how the, I go? Oh, you just mad because your ass is old. I'm going to make my own rap about Thug Nipperson and embarrass him. Hey, hey yo, hey. I was wondering if you would be interested in rapping with me on this song. He's in the booth. <laughs> granddad about to jump in this track. He's in the studio. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm ready. Is X going to be in the track, though? X go this back. Yeah, this rap go out to... Punk-nificent in all his fame. That's why he's a mother, 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 mother fool. Mama was a fool. Okay. This mother went to YouTube? No, this nigga didn't. Huh. I ain't threatening no old people. Come on, ma. That ain't even my style, ma. Ma, I'm in a meeting. Ma, let me, can I call you back, please, ma? I love you, too. Just because you live a long life don't mean it can't come to a short end, nigga. Two Cleveland teens have been arrested for assaulting this man. I beat up old people because Thugnificent does it, and that makes it cool. Wow. The AARP announced a boycott of Thugnificent's record label. Man, Thugnificent ain't telling nobody to beat up no old people. People always want to... I mean, at the end of the video, he did beat him up. That's what I was... So, in a sense, you kind of did. <laughs> you was talking shit about him, talking about you want to fight him and all, you want to bust him up and all that. So yeah, you about to kick out the neighborhood. And we are hopeful to having a resolution shortly. Thank you. You know you mess up with, nigga. I'm from the dirty dirty. Somebody here needs to be an adult. We're neighbors. We have to learn to live together. Hey, everybody good in here? Beverages? Any of y'all need a coaster? Let me go get y'all these coasters right quick. What about the loud party? Nigga, you gave us permission to have that party. What about parking all those damn cars on my yard and ruining my lawn? We was fixing to come over and apologize. But then you had to go off and start filing complaints. That's a really powerful yeah, sentiment you just oh expressed God, right there, right. Doug Nicholson. Get out. Well, yeah, man. Anybody could see that that was a satirical act. Hell, Hell no, I ain't apologizing. Apologize. Yeah, 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 apologize. For the sake of old people everywhere, that there will be no more diss records. Did you just say, I spit hot fire? Where did that come from? We did come not on, leave that. <laughs> people pay for my lawn, boy. Eat a dick, old nigga. Oh, wow. This was not. a hot mess. 
I love it. Hot, I, I love hot it. Hot mess. Boondocks just makes but, my day. It makes my day. I'm not even going to lie I mean, y'all. they both was wrong. Yeah, they was doing a lot. But he did kind of insinuate. Like, That's how I move in the neighborhood. I ain't going to lie. I come in a little. When I move to the suburbs, I had to let them know. But, like I said, I, I, somebody else said this. No, no, this ain't my quote. But if somebody else bumping louder than me in the neighborhood, not, I'm like granddad. I need to come check this out because this wow. is not normal. I hear sound wow. system in my neighborhood. If it ain't mine, we got a problem. Now that the neighborhood, the D value start going down. The value start going So down. are we going to be seeing Thug Mystic, whatever his name is, a lot? Or are we going to see other artists come out, you know, as other people? I think so. I think it's actually cool that, like, in a sense, I feel like the Boondocks is a game as far as, like, guessing who the voices are. So I feel like I was good. I, I was good at Exhibit. I knew him by his cough. That's really? Amazing. That's amazing. I don't even. I don't even the know. cough. All right. I don't know how, but I did. But let us know what you guys thought about this episode down below in the comment section. Until next time, guys.